A Tony Award winning show will take center stage at the newly restored Fisher Theater in Danville. And here with a preview of Bright Star, joining me on our CI stage, we have Angie, Rui, and Brian. Welcome, guys. Hey. So, Bright Star, let's talk a little bit about what this production is all about. Not everybody at once, though. <laughs> Go ahead, so, Rui. No, okay. I'll let Brian is so, okay. answer. The story of Bright Star <laughs> is all about um, a old folk tale, uh, kind of from Arkansas, which was the story of the Ozark baby, which is an old concept of a baby who uh, got kind of misplaced and uh, someone else raised it. So that's kind of like the overall conceit of the store, uh, story, um, written by Steve Martin and all that. The Steve Martin? Yep. The, the Steve, Steve Martin. Martin. Wow. So yeah. I th I'm pretty sure this is an award-winning mm -hmm. production as well. So that's exciting. Who do you play? Um, I am Alice. I am one of the leading ladies next to this one. She is another um, of our leads. And I play the 16-year-old and the 40-year-old. Okay, uh, we, we so go between time periods, 19, between 1920 and 1940s. So you flip. We're looking here now, and I'm guessing some of your rehearsals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, in anticipation of the big show happening. So uh, is it hard to go from teenager to middle-ager? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the mentality, you know, I act like a teenager anyway, so yeah, that's the do. easy part. But, you know, being a professional 40-year-old, that's a little... <laughs> a little different. So. What about you, Rui? Tell me about your character. Well, um, Margot is smart and she's nice and she's awkward <laughs> and she's really, really, really in love with Billy. Oh, is that Brian here? That's me. Oh. So I'm Billy and I'm a soldier come back from the war and I would describe him as uh, dumb but <laughs> charming mostly. <laughs> Um, and he is really and really in love with writing and does not notice that Margaret might be in love with him. Okay, so a little, little triangle here we got going on. So tell me a little bit about the Fisher Theater. It's newly restored, such a great space to put on a show like this. It is beautiful. Uh, it's hard to even it's describe. It's stunning. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you walk into the Virginia, there's you get this feeling, and it's the same way. I'd never been in the Fisher Theater. It is absolutely stunning, and there are ghosts and everything. Ooh. So. I hope there's no ghosts that are going to, like, steal the rolls or the, the food during the, the show, because this is a dinner theater. It is a dinner theater. It are, not all of the, the shows are with there's dinner, sh There's show-only right? tickets. Yes. Actually, they're all, all, only show only tickets are available at this Left. point. Oh, right. We you did can. sell all the dinner theaters. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you can okay. get show only tickets on the website that it's DLO musical theater dot org or you can get them at the door. There are oh, plenty okay. and that's at the door. With an R -E. Okay, got it. I know we've got that on CILiving.tv right now. It looks like we've got a, a nice little dance scene going on there, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my pigtails. That's yeah, see that's Cameron. That's my love in the show. Oh uh, well who would this be a good show for? What kind of audience are we hoping to find out in the crowd? You know, really anyone. It's actually pretty all ages. Um, there's a little, I'd call it like PG, maybe. It's, okay. 13. Uh, yeah, Fine. <laughs> It's, it's fantastic. It's it's a bluegrass show. There's there's a lot of great music. There's a lot of excitement and energy and emotion. I, it's it is for anybody, but um, it's it's not one to be missed. And you know, people think of you know Steve Martin. You know, they think of his his comedic um, yeah uh, career. But it's he's an amazing banjo player. He's an amazing musician. And Steve Martin and Edie Brickell. So Edie Brickell and the New Bohemians. I graduated in the 90s, you know, she was my girl. So this this was amazing for me um, because it's just kind of all in my wheelhouse and I, I love the music, I love the story. It's very captivating. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a great time with some good tunes, some good acting, and my boss even tap dances, I hear. <laughs> so you're definitely going to want to tune in for that. We appreciate you all coming and best of luck. Thank you. All right, there's several different show times and we'll have all of them as well as how you can get tickets at CILiving.tv.